What's up everybody, Dread back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just got another dev update. They've been coming out with these like crazy lately along with smaller updates that have been featured in the supporter edition, but obviously I'm not allowed to show off those. They've been really interesting though, I will say that. But anyways, the name of this update is called PVE Gameplay. Ooh, goody goody. Brought to you once again by the generous Guinevere, who is the community manager for Void Interactive, so thank you for everything that you do. It starts off with saying, hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of our Ready or Not bi-weekly newsletter. This time around, we'll be taking Taking a look at some of the PvE gameplay as players engage AI throughout hotel. Fast moving suspects attack from different angles. Civilians run and flee, and every trigger pull has the potential to be lethal. Interesting. Curious to see what that's all about. Continuing on, the next thing that they got here is PvE encounters. What? Alarms echo their death throes through regal hallways throttled by smoke, blood splattered walls, and still twitching bodies. There are civilians here, trapped, terrified, traumatized, looking for a way out. It's up to you to make sure they get out of here safely. It's up to you to make sure order is brought to chaos they're definitely setting a tone here with this curious to see how it looks but anyways ready or not single player and co-op experiences are absolutely its central focus as such the game's artificial intelligence has been built from the ground up to be intelligent adaptive and reactive suspects dart from cover to cover flank sedentary players and utilize their surroundings and civilians to get the upper hand any encounter with the suspect has a chance to be a lethal one and lack of awareness perception or preparation can mean failing a mission or not making it out of one alive interesting i'm actually have a video here but before we get into that let's read what the text actually says below it it says a confrontation with multiple suspects turns bloody for all involved all right so let's take a look at it So let's break this down. The video starts off with a guy holding a DSA FAL looking through a window on the left side of a door and he's aiming it with his laser sight there instead of his actual iron sights. He's like moving back and forth to see if he can see anybody through the tiny window and then he sees someone and he shoots. He fires and it breaks the glass that are on that window right there. He fires again. Text pops up on the screen saying press F to open door. He keeps shooting and shooting and shooting. You see all the particles flinging off back at him. You can't really tell who he's actually shooting at. He keeps shooting. Then the thing that he's shooting at gets out of his line of sight and then he proceeds to look at the door and kicks it open and leans in looking left coming into what looks like a hallway he starts firing at a suspect that's going through a door which i am to assume is a cartel member i don't believe he actually kills him even though i think he put a shit ton of rounds down range or at least it's not very easy to see i mean you can kind of see that he takes a bit of a tumble but this guy who's playing ends up leaning back into the place that he was before because he got shot judging by the red indicator and blurry screen on his face there he backs up and as he's backing up we can actually see shots hitting where he was had he not moved he probably would have been dead but we actually get to see that he's in the gift shop then he fast reloads which you could tell by him dropping the mag there and hops back into the action by popping back into the big hallway so as he's pushing back up to the door he sees a suspect just across the way and he takes a shot i think he might have just nicked him right there but it's kind of hard to tell he might have just shot a civilian which was probably the reason why he stopped firing he only shot once but after he takes a shot he gets shot himself this time the injury looks a lot worse it's very unclear as to where these bullets are actually coming from afterwards after he gets shot he backs up a little He's like, you know what? I got an idea. Let me toss in this freaking flashbang. Pulls out a flashbang, lobs it at the door, it bounces off towards the bad guy, and then goes off. Then he sprints back towards the door to see if he can actually catch them off guard. But when he turns the corner, all he sees is two civilians. One is limping off to the right there. He actually chips over the body that's on the floor right there. And you actually get to see the body kind of move right there. So is that guy still alive? That's interesting. I think it's really cool that these guys can actually trip over bodies and it actually looks like it affects his walking pattern. I have to wonder if that could also happen to us. Like, can we trip over bodies? bodies that'd be kind of funny but crazy at the same time like we'd literally have to watch where we'd step without tripping over but uh yeah so that was a pretty good clip definitely shows that the game is coming along and yeah it definitely shows that the ai is functioning the way it's supposed to be definitely can't wait to try so that was that let's go ahead and continue on here the next thing says in the above clip the player engages a suspect through quickly broken panes of glass. Oh, so it's basically a recap of the events that happened in the clip. Let's see if it's better than mine. Kicking open the door, he seizes the initiative and shoots a suspect before they can reposition. A second suspect returns fire, causing the officer to panic and shoot from where he believes the shots are coming from, nearly missing a scrambling civilian. Regrouping. A stinger grenade gives the officer a chance to regroup. That was a stinger? I really couldn't tell because his hands were freaking covering it up, but they actually work now. Move from cover and pursue 
the second suspect and that's where it kind of ends for this guy i guess so what do you think audience who said it better was it me or was it these guys here who described this clip better let me know down below because we're going to be moving on here so up next we have another video or a clip i guess but before we get into it let's see what it says underneath it it says scores of cars and hundreds of angles to watch nothing to rely on but officers at your side hmm see how this goes So first thing that I want to say is that this clip is a little longer than the previous one and that oh my god they added in a freaking basement level for cars man this map is a hell of a lot bigger than what I remember Jesus but anyways let's go ahead and get into it so the video starts out with them coming into a basement or a parking garage I guess you'd call it our guy here is holding an mp5 with an eotech hollow sight and you can see off to the right there you see another SWAT officer he's holding a less than lethal shotgun I forgot what it was called I think it's like the m80 or something m87 uh, I forgot but I believe it's the one that's exclusive to the supporter edition if i'm not mistaken the name above the guy's head is chili dog 3d he's actually one of the developers i forget what he does though i believe he is one of the guys that don't really talk as much or at least i haven't really seen him talk as much but yeah these two are basically moving in towards the garage our character pulls out a stinger and flings it off into the darkness of the garage here as chili dog is hopping over some railing it goes out behind a van and as the light goes around you can see like a bunch of graffiti on the walls and the walls really messed up and just a lot of stuff here so chili dog is moving up on the right while our character is running up on the left but he sees something because he turns immediately to his right turns all the way around completely back from the way they came or he might have heard something from the back because he crouches pulls his gun backwards on the mouse it's like when you do that your gun turns sideways like that generally you only want to do that when you actually have a laser pointer but it doesn't look like this mp5 has one so i believe chili dog sees somebody right here and our character is coming around the left side of this red van here shots fired by chili dog or suspect on the other side i can't really tell from here but our character throws another stinger to the left side of this van here and it goes off it looks like the guy that that was on the left side of this van actually gives up but as he's giving up and our character is running around the left side to try to deal with him he gets shot on his left his left hand side he turns around to the other side of the garage sees a suspect and starts firing down range can't tell if he really hit him it looked like he was kind of shooting all over the place so they both kind of creep up on the area where they saw something and then there's something interesting he actually took out a glow stick and he threw it over where the suspect is believed to be i don't think you were able to do that before that's kind of cool i mean i knew that you could pull one out and drop it where you're standing but i don't think you could actually throw it that's kind of cool so these guys are ever so slightly pushing up and at around 42 seconds you see the suspect right there on the left pretty easy to miss because our guy right here he actually looks away from him for like a split second but then sees him out of the corner of his eye and as he looks back he begins to run around the corner doesn't look like he actually has a gun though so i'm not entirely sure what his mindset was was he trying to like run up to stab you or slap you or something well we never really know because our main character right here basically guns him down and there he lays until the clip ends so overall it's a pretty neat clip this is the first time we're actually seeing like a garage area of the hotel and the alpha we don't actually have this area so it's brand new content really first time i'm seeing it is first time you're seeing it so this is great definitely can't wait to try it and really get a handle on it so that was that clip let's go ahead and push on to the next thing here this next one describes what happened in the previous clip i believe it says a pair of officers move into the hotel's parking garage closing in from two angles on an isolated suspect though he proves compliant with a bit of coercion upon moving to secure and arrest the suspect the officers are shot at they return fire while moving to cover before advancing on the suspect who sprints from behind a vehicle before being shot. While only one player was injured, this scenario serves as an important reminder to never leave your back open. Only approach surrendering suspects if you know that you're in a position to secure them without having to face a new threat. Oh my god, that happened so many times in freaking SWAT 4. Just thinking on it right now. But anyways, whether facing down a lone suspect with a handgun or several with an arsenal, Ready or Not's AI interacts with much more than just the player. Civilians, hostages, and other environmental objects. And more can impact the situation 
situations you'll go up against. Every encounter should be treated as a unique situation with its own necessary preparations, tools, and risks. Interesting, interesting, interesting. In conclusion, we've concluded the 15th edition of our development update, featuring PvE gameplay and commentary on elements of suspect behavior. And that's pretty much it for the newsletter here. You know, what's interesting about this is that I actually heard both of these videos with the original audio, and I gotta say, it sounds pretty interesting. Wish I could have shown them off here, but uh, I'm sure that'll come soon. So what are your guys' thoughts on this newsletter here? I don't think it was as short as the previous one, if I remember correctly, but definitely interesting. Well, I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like Red or Nothing, be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something the only like on the channel. I am about to hit 10k subscribers. Help me out. Red or Not is my bread and butter on this channel, but I also cover a bunch of tactical games also. But yeah, that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.